All right, let's go on, uh, Alan. Uh, I'm going to try to answer some of your questions um, and some of the suggestions you had. Um, Split Paw and myself right now are looking to, um, for the most part, focus solely on getting Ubonite going and where it could possibly be. Um, as the essentially preferred platform for all things Ubuntu uh, and deriving a community out of it, essentially. You know, but just because it's Ubuntu doesn't mean it can't be Linux. Oh, other distros. Um, now, as far as the particular user you mentioned, no, we have not invited him. Um, by all means, though, if you want to invite him please do um, I find I did go to his channel and watch a couple of his videos and I do agree that his content is very good for new Linux users um, now as far as some of your suggestions on Ubinite, um, you know making it focus on ease of use um, I think it's gonna be a mashup of ideas probably um, my recommendation probably to split paw as far as where to see Ubonite and a focus of ease of use um, an FAQ is a good place to start um, I occasionally blog on walkernome.com and one of the things I did blog about was how to find the, the right Linux distribution for you um, I'm gonna Hit split pop up with a copy of that particular article that I did um, as a basis, as a introduction to Linux. Um, I go through a basic breakdown of the five core distributions, what most distributions are based off from, the packaging, uh, the way things are installed. Um, you know, or, and try to explain the difference between a DEB and RPM, and you know, source and tarballs and all this other stuff. Um, you know, and try to give. Um, I tried to give feedback on some of the strengths and weaknesses of each uh, core distribution. Um, and you know, when I say core distribution, I'm talking Gen 2 Slackware, Fedora, or Red Hat based systems, and Ubuntu. Uh, those are you know, Ubuntu, yes, it's a derivative. The fact of the matter is, it's still more of a fork of Debian than a branch. Now, um, so I'm probably going to hit split pop up with that. Um, and I had some other tips for helping people determine what might be their best way to go. Um, now, as far as, uh, Trying to integrate a concentration of ease of use and keeping um, the more CL uh, command line users away from the novices. Um, first off, let me explain. Uh, a lot of the forums and a lot of the things are done through CLI because they view it. A lot of Linux users, you know that. You know, be it Ubuntu users or whatever, uh, tend to see it as it doesn't take a lot of bandwidth to like screenshots do. Um, that I'm not saying it's a justifiable reason, but it is one of the reasons. Um, and they view it as it's easier just to type out the command and have people just highlight it, copy it, paste it into terminal, and hit enter. That's their view on it. However, most people that are, do use CLI as the norm have been using Linux more than the people that are coming from Windows or Mac OS X. Um, so there has to be a balance between the CLI and the uh, GUI-based tools. Um, and unfortunately, they're still not quite there with Linux or Ubuntu in general. But they're getting there. Um, a lot of things can be done through a GUI now that used to have to be done manually. 
Um, now, as far as the separation of users based on classification, essentially, um, you know, are you new? Are you an intermediate user? Do you mind going to the CLI? But would you prefer GUI? Or are you an advanced user who just wants tips and tricks on the CLI environment? That's how you're going to determine what you want. Um, and it, you know, it depends on a lot of things. It depends on your distribution. Um, it depends on how comfortable with a CLI you are, or how comfortable with a GUI you are. Um, and it also just kind of depends on the content you're aiming for for an audience that you provide. Um, one thing I, at least my suggestion to Slipflow is probably going to be if we go this route with a, a featured content contributors, like uh, each tab is a different con uh, content contributor for featured users, um, what level is that content being derived for? Is it being derived for a new user who's coming from a you know um, point and click interface of Windows or Mac, or is it more of a kind of mesh user who doesn't really give a damn either way? Or you just you know CLI? I don't need a GUI for GNOME KDE. They're all you know give me, you know give me a terminal. I'm happy. You know, th those are the kind of users you got to find who you cater to, um, and I think the best way would be to try to figure out where the content that the content provider is aiming for. Um, you know, so each one, each video, or whatnot will be different. Um, I believe that there has to be an integration of all these featured users, uh, MySpaces and Facebook accounts, their Twitter accounts, um, uh, your YouTube channels. There, there has to be an integration with that. There also has to be more than, if you're going to do videos, there also has to be more than just YouTube. You, get, uh, you know, MySpace does videos, Facebook does videos, um, things like vlogger heads. Um, there's a variety of other um, video content sites. Those are just some. Um, and I think with Ubinai as a focal point for Linux users looking to find a common interest that, you know, instead of like on a Facebook or a MySpace where you just add people because, you know, you might know them or you might think they're hot, you know, for superficial reasons. Whereas this will help you integrate into more of a common interest group instead. You know, your interest being Linux or Ubuntu or, you know, helping the community, basically. You know, that's where I kind of see Ubinite going. Um, <clears throat> so that's just some of my thoughts. It's what I'm looking at. Um, I'm not sure what Splitpaw's looking at, but let me know, man. Um, hit me back.